What's up, what's going on Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing us a quick mission guide for the Phalanx Faction Tier 3 mission here in Season 4, known as the Transporter. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy its content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share your support for the channel by going down below and smash that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 150 likes on today's video as well as if you would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do it that subscribe button. Also that notification bell so you don't miss you in future videos. Alright, so this mission is going to be three parts and it is going to be taking us over to Al Mazra. Now the first part's asking us to pick up the charge in the closed tunnel near Zaya Observatory. Now it is important to note that this charge is only available for the first five minutes of the match so once you guys get through five minutes into the match the bomb will automatically detonate explode wherever it is which is something you guys should keep in mind and then obviously you guys wouldn't be able to complete this so what you're going to need to do is upon infilling into al Masra, you're going to want to locate your nearest vehicle hopefully you guys spawn on a good side of the map or at least a good spawn that isn't super far away from zaya observatory you guys are then going to obviously jump in the vehicle and you're going to want to head over towards zaya observatory now the general area of zaya observatory that you're going to want to head to is across from the satik caves basically that big yellow bridge there there is going to be a way up the side and eventually if you guys follow the roads in that little area or the little village there on the side of Zaya observatory it will lead you up to a little opening that looks like you're going to go into a tunnel the only difference is this one is going to be closed off and as always i will show you guys the best i can on the map where this location is is we'll head into this tunnel this will then be able to pick up the bomb and the first part will be complete part two is asking us to transport and drop the charge near the supply site at the u.s embassy in al Mazar city now you guys have made it up here to the location you've picked up the bomb now you need to have more than enough time to make it all the way over to the u.s embassy it will take you a little bit of time to get here and obviously depending on your vehicle situation and how things go on the way will determine how long it actually takes but you're going to want to have at least a few minutes to get there you guys are going to jump back in your vehicle and then head over to the u.s embassy once you guys get over to the u.s embassy you guys are going to obviously park on the outside of the wall i basically recommend driving all the way up to the wall so you guys can basically just climb over ignore most of the ai in the area as you do want to be quick you're going to want to head to the centralized location of the embassy again this is one of those times where i will show you guys the best i can on the map where this is located you guys are then going to head over to this bomb site which you guys shouldn't be able to miss it's directly in the center of the u.s embassy basically between all the buildings this will then be able to plant that bomb that you are carrying there or place it down at the supply site and that will wrap up part two now part three is just asking us to wait for the charge to detonate near the supply site now this is why keeping track of the time is so important if you guys have made it up to this point and it hasn't gone off yet you guys are in great shape however you guys are going to know for sure that it is going to go off at the 20 minute mark in the match so after five minutes into the match goes by it will explode again like we said anywhere that it is you are going to want to make sure it is already planted at that supply site then all you're going to want to do is put some distance between you and the bomb site i just kind of hung out here and stared at it once that point hit in the match where it actually explodes it blows up wrapping up part three and completing this mission now that's gonna wrap things up for today's quick mission guide thank you guys for all the support in today's video all support in the channel and i look forward to seeing y'all in the next one peace